In today's video, we are going to talk about world's first AI operating system. What if your operating system didn't just run your apps, but actually worked like your assistant? What if it watched what you do once and then just did it for you forever? That's exactly what Warm Wind OS promises, guys. And honestly, it might redefine the way we work with AI. Hi guys, I'm Amrit Raj and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as I told you, we are looking at something very bold. A new way to run your digital life. It's called Warm Wind OS. The founders are calling it as world's first AI operating system. After two years of development, it's finally here and it might be the end for tedious digital workflows. Think about it. AI was supposed to make our lives easier. But instead of offloading pressure, we now juggle between tools like ChatGPT, Claude, Copilot, Runway, etc. And somehow, we still feel buried under notification and browser tabs. It's like we became an assistant to our own assistants. Every week there is a new tool release. They are smart but fragmented. And what's worse is, they expect you to remember what to ask, when and how. It's like hiring someone who forgets everything after every 5 minutes. That's not intelligence guys, that's babysitting. This is what the team behind Warm Wind OS is saying. So what they did different is, they asked what do people really want from AI. To answer this, they came up with a new kind of operating system. Not built just to run software, but to understand your goals, learn from your actions and quietly execute in the background. And the result they got was Warm Wind OS. And here's how it actually works. Step number one is logging in. It's all inside the Chrome, no heavy downloads needed. Step two is install the apps you already use. For example, Outlook, Gmail, Shopify or LinkedIn. Step three, automate. Let's say you want to auto forward emails to departments. Just describe it and it is done. This is the screen you will log into. As you see, I'm completely within Chrome right now. It first prompts you to install your apps. So let's go for an email inbound manager. We use Outlook whatever it is. And now that we have installed our application we want to automate, we can just go down here and say, whenever an email comes in, send every email to the department it's supposed to go to. And obviously you would, in the real world scenario, you would take some time and define which department does what, obviously. And then you send it. And now it will open the app and it will just work for you. And that's it. But here's the cool part, guys, the teaching mode. You just need to show the warm bit what you do. It watches you, clicks, listen to your instructions and replicates your workflow. For example, open a browser, search Berlin weather and skip to the top results. Click my favorite one and email me the report. Boom, done. And the best part is you don't have to repeat yourself ever again. So let us talk about the real world applications. Here are the three examples people are using this right now. Number one, customer support agent. Warmwind auto replies to customer emails after checking Shopify order status and giving estimated delivery. Number two, HR assistant. Warmwind can help you hire. It can scan LinkedIn, send DMs to prospect candidates, log candidates into a spreadsheet and generate hiring report also. Crazy, right? Number three, it can automate legacy softwares. For example, it works with a 90s era German rental software that doesn't allow exports. It automates the entire process and saves thousands of hours of your employees. So what's powerful about Warmwind is that it changes the way you see your own work. Suddenly those annoying daily tasks, you realize, hey, I don't need to do that anymore. You teach your AI once and it just works for you. So here's the deal, guys. Warmwind OS has been rolled out very slowly. And if you want to try it before the crowd rushes in, head over to their website and sign up. For me, this tool looks very exciting, guys. And I'm also very excited to try this out. So what is your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more AI tools.